No matter what type of game you choose to play, the best CPUs are designed to collaborate closely with graphics cards to provide high detail settings, high frame rates, and a breathtakingly beautiful and immersive gaming experience. Similar to graphics cards, the performance of the CPUs has improved by leaps and bounds in recent years. However, a problem that many people commonly encounter is affordability, which is why in today's video, we're going to be revealing the best CPUs in 2022. You don't want to miss out on this one, so stay tuned to find out more. The Intel Core i3-12100 Intel's i3-12100, which retails for $130, and is part of the Alder Lake family of processors that anyone can afford. Because AMD doesn't provide a clear current generation competitor, and because the Core i3-12100 offers outstanding performance, at least for its price point, it is in the range of $105 to $130, and overall, the potent combination of pricing, performance, as well as an upgraded stock cooler offered by the quad-core i3-12100 makes it one of the best budget CPUs you can get. The Core i3-12100 is now the processor that dominates the market for low-cost gaming CPUs, and it's also good in applications with light levels of multi-threading. If you do want to get faster performance, then you need to look at other Alder Light chips because none of AMD's processors is compete with the 12100 in terms of single-thread use. The Core i3-12100 is also impressive in threaded productivity workloads for its price point. The power consumption rating of the i3-12100 are as follows, 60 watt for a base and 89 watt at peak. The base frequency of the processor is 3.3 GHz, which may accelerate to 4.3 GHz whenever needed. Additionally, it has an L3 cache that is 12 MB in size. The 1700 socket motherboards from the 600 series are compatible with Intel's Alder Light platform. And these motherboards include the Z690, H670, B660, and H610. The Core i3-12100 is a lot chipped, meaning that it isn't overclockable. AMD doesn't currently provide a processor with a price point that is comparable to the i3-12100, and even though it has no direct competitors, it nevertheless manages to deliver significant generational improvements in performance. Whenever gaming at a resolution of 1080p, the Core i3-12100, which costs 56% less than that of the i5-12400, delivers 88% of the $300 Core i5-12400 performance. That is the striking difference between balance and cost, as well as effectiveness. The Core i3-12100F the Core i3-12100F has all the attributes of a very competitive Core i3-12100, however, Intel has disabled the integrated graphics engine on the variant of this processor. You are not going to be able to use the chip's integrated graphics processing unit for troubleshooting tasks or even basic output displays. But Intel has lowered the price to compensate for this, making it possible to get a great deal right now for about a $100 price point. Having that being said, you won't get any real gaming performance with the full-featured 12100 with the iGPU. So, in that sense, you aren't missing out on much. However, because AMD doesn't have a product with a value equal to this chip, then the Core i3-12100F comes out on top. This chip has the same potent mix of price and performance as its sister, the i3-12100. Plus, it also has Intel's latest and best cooler, saving you some money in the process. The AMD Athlon 200GE. With four processing threads and Vega 3 graphics, which are able to handle light gaming at lower resolutions and settings, AMD's sub-$60 Zen-based Athlon is a solid all-round bargain. This is due to the fact that it costs less than $60, and when you spend this little on a CPU, you should expect to make some sacrifices in other areas, and the performance of slightly threaded applications is one of those. Even though AMD doesn't officially support overclocking, it's still possible to overclock if you have a compatible motherboard, that is. This will help to squeeze out every little bit of CPU performance from this chip. The Ryzen 3 2200G, which costs about 100 bucks, is a significant superior processor with many more cores and much more powerful graphics if your PC building budget allows it. However, if you're limited to spending no more than $60 on your CPU and you don't intend to install a separate graphics card, then the Athlon 200GE is your best bet. The Gold G5400 and the G4560 Pentiums from Intel are able to compete with this CPU. 
However, their suggested retail prices are greater, and production constraints have made it difficult to get them unless you're ready to spend close to $100 or more. This renders them basically incompatible in terms of low-cost CPUs. The Core i3-10100F Most of AMD's chips are on the lower end range, like the Ryzen 3 3300X, and they've been completely absent for more than a year, which means that one of the reasons why we've decided to recommend a prior generation of hardware. Additionally, the previous gen Zen 2 architecture that the new low-end models of AMD are based upon helps to make them less competitive, at least in terms of pricing and performance, whenever compared to prior generations of Intel processors. As a result, the astonishingly affordable core i3-10100F still remains the unchallenged market leader in the price range of $60 to $85, with a base clock speed of 3.6 GHz and a turbo clock speed of 4.3 GHz, which are included in the core i3-10100F, also has four cores and eight threads. The 65 watt chip is fabricated using a 14 nanometer technology and features a 6 megabit L3 cache. Additionally, it is compatible with DDR4 2666 memory and PCIe 3.0. The non F model does come with a UHD 630 graphics engine with a maximum clock speed of 1.1 gigahertz, but it's not particularly designed for gaming. Instead, if you already have a discrete graphics card, then you may save up some money by choosing the F-Series model, which does offer a rather excellent quad core for the price of 68 bucks. And because the 10100 is a much older generation of product, you're gonna need to make certain that you choose the appropriate series of motherboards for these chips. The Intel Core i5-10400F The Intel Core i5-10400F is not even close to being the most cutting edge CPU available. Nevertheless, despite being a middle-of-the-road option that was introduced two generations ago, it's still an excellent choice for a current gaming PC. It boasts clock speeds of 4.3 GHz with its 6 cores and 12 threads, putting it in a striking reach of some of the most powerful CPUs available. It's got a flexible gaming CPU, which can handle 1080p or 1440p resolutions whenever combined with a graphics card that is up to the task. The cost of this CPU unit is, however, its primary selling point. It's one of the market's most reasonably priced gaming processors, coming in at less than 140 bucks, especially considering its performance level. Even though it's not a processor that can be overclocked for additional power because it's not unlocked, it's still a powerful CPU as soon as you take it out of the box. It also doesn't have any onboard graphics, which means that in order for you to play with it, you will need to have a dedicated graphics card. However, if you already have a dedicated graphics card and are interested in upgrading your CPU, the 10400F is a good option to consider. The Intel Core i5-12400F The most attention may be paid to Intel's K-series processors, but the relatively understood performance of the older like generation's 12400F is probably the architect's most impressive feature. The CPU has a fixed 6 cores and 12 threads, but none of the sufficiency cores that are characteristic of this generation are included. Despite this, it still has a remarkable amount of performance. It's competitive with the AMD Ryzen 5600X and is a quicker one than most CPUs from prior generations, and all this can be gotten for only $200 or less. In order to construct a PC around the 12004F, you will still need to invest in one of the more pricey new generation motherboards made by Intel. Despite this, the 12400F is an absolute powerhouse in terms of low-cost gaming processors. It doesn't use an excessive amount of electricity either, and it's not nearly as efficient as the 5600X, but still, it's not that far off, making this another CPU worth considering if you are concerned about your usage of energy or if you're building a system with a much smaller form factor. So there you have it, folks. That's the best budget PCs in 2022. Which one was your favorite, and are there any CPUs that we may have missed that you think should have been on our list? Let us know in the comment section down below, and of course, if you enjoyed the video, then please consider giving it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this, and don't forget to ding that notification bell so that way you'll be kept up to date with all the latest and greatest content from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.